All right, we're gonna be getting another game started here. This time we're gonna do uh, a little bit more roguelike. We're gonna go ahead and hit randomize until we get five heroes. Um, but the environment and the villain we're gonna put back to uh, checkpoint, choke point, and whatever the the season two stuff. So let's go ahead and randomize uh, until we get five heroes. And there's five heroes. So we're gonna take out Plague Rat. We're definitely gonna put choke point uh, in celebration of the season two starting. We're gonna get rid of this environment. We're gonna try the new environment again. Um, so the Temple of Zhulong. And now we have the option of uh, removing a hero and and uh, taking out a, a uh, putting in another one. So that's th this is the rogue rules that I've come up with. Uh, randomize until we get five, and then we can change one out. Well, because it's season two debut, I want to bring Set back in. That means I got to take somebody else out. Um, I think I'm going to take Bunker out. And we'll bring in Set back. And where do we want to put him? Um, I think I like having F uh, Fnatic up front. Set back is probably fine in the back. Uh, do we want to do any variants? Uh... Fnat well no 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 oops 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 almost messed that up. Uh part of the rogue rules is whatever variants they come out, that's that's how we play them. So no no changing that. Alright, this is our team. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's go ahead and just start the game. We'll figure out our cards as we go. All right, she plays a newfound power. Reveal the top card of the villain deck. Each player must put one card that shares a keyword with the revealed card from their hand face down in the villain play area. Then put the revealed card into play. Oh crap, oh crap. All right, she reveals a card. So she's gonna reveal, she's gonna gain five hit points and then deals the non-villain target with the hot lowest hit point five energy damage. If that target is destroyed, she gets more. All right, uh... And then wait, what? Review must put one card that shares a keyword with the real card from the hand face down the villain play area. All right, so we all got to put a one shot. All right, so three of us. Damn it! All right, Haka loses vitality surge. Expatriate loses her quick draw, and setback can either lose his karmic retribution or his whoops sorry. Hmm. I don't, oh, that is so useful. Um, all right, we'll let her take the Karmic Retribution. I really like that card, but... And then she plays the Empowered Self-Repair. Uh, she heals herself and then does 5 damage to Expatriate. And then does 4 damage to Haka. All right. Okay, so... Fanatic here. What do we got? Nothing great. Um, eh, not needed, not needed... And emboldened. We may use additional power. That's not going to help us yet. Um, whenever one damage. That actually could be useful. Um, with this environment that we got. So we'll put on Daunted. And then we'll use uh, Fanatic's Exorcism. Use that power. And we'll uh, hit her. And then hit her again. Alright. And then we drew a Sanctifying Strike. That's kind of nice. So I think... Choke Point has almost no target cards in her deck, which is quite interesting. Um, which means whenever an environment card is destroyed, well, we're going to be destroying environment cards. So let's go ahead and put Dominion in play. We don't need Tai High right now. Uh, so we'll do Crush and we'll crush Choke Point. Alright. Vitality Surge is what we drew. Alright. Um, she gets to play something a Flak Jacket. This is only play because the other cards are rent our ammo, which we don't have a weapon. So let's go ahead and put our flak jacket. And then this lets us play a card, which we don't want to do. Actually, you know what? Uh, let's back up a second. Uh, let's go to our player card. We're not going to play anything. We're not going to do anything. So we're going to just skip everything and just draw two cards. So she drew an assault rifle. Very nice. And an unload. All right. That, that was a good plan. Okay, Skyscraper, who is one of my new favorites. Uh, she's a proportionist. I'm scared of using that card. Um, that is often dangerous. Um, increased... Eh, it's probably still worth it. Uh, rebounding Debilitator. 
Play this card next to a non-hero target. Whenever that target would do three or more damage, prevent that. Damage. Actually, that is pretty good. Better than this monolith. All right, we'll play that. That goes on choke points. So next time she does damage, she does quite a bit of damage. And then we'll uh, draw two cards here. She's surveillance, a linking incursion. And she drew another proportionist, which we don't need. An aggression modulator. That is useful. Let's go look at that again. Aggression modulator. Next to uh, reduce damage dealt by that target to hero targets by two. Increase damage dealt by that target to villain targets by one. All right, we got to pay attention to the environment cards then. All right, uh, setback can play something. We can do looking up. If you add 10 or more tokens, he gets hurt. Otherwise, we uh, add three tokens and then um, deal three damage. But there's no way to self-remove that. Surprising fortune. Remove two tokens from your unlucky pool. If you do, setback regains two hit points and one player may draw two cards. Wow. That is really good. We can't use it yet, really. And a whoops sorry is not helpful right now. Hmm. Is it worth taking damage here? Probably. All right. We'll play looking up. Though now, if I do that, do I want to do damage or do I want to use his risk card? Probably not. We'll do this. Let's just do damage. Uh, with this team that we have here, uh, it looks like we w we want to just like just pound down. Oh, we got a reckless rush. That could have been good. I think we just want to go full force against her. Mysterious ceremonies. At st start environment turn. Reveal the top card of the environment deck. If it's a target, discard it, otherwise put it into play. So this could possibly let this play an extra card, e the environment play an extra card each turn. At the end of the environment turn, one player may either draw three cards or play one card. And if none of us do that, it goes away. So we're going to not do anything and let that get away. And Haka gets to draw a card because of Dominion. So that worked out okay. All right, she got a shocking animation, which is that going to hurt us? Play this card next to an equipment card. If there are none in play, put this card face down in villain area. Face down in the next card. Do, 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 do. All right. So it just goes face down in the villain area? Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. See what's going on over here. Play this card next to an equipment card. Oh, shoot. It went next to the rebounding debilitator. Oh, okay. I see what's going to happen here. So it went next to the rebounding debilitator but because she did damage we could put this card on top of our deck and then shotgun animation was destroyed which means she still got the card are you kidding she still got it son of a bum all right what do we want to do here um probably a sanctifying strike and draw a card and we gain a health the health we don't need Ages for res Resurrection is not needed right now. Divine Focus. This is when we have a lot of cards. Um, additional Power. We don't need that just yet. Alright. I guess just a Sanctifying Strike. We'll do uh, damage to her. Um, we drew a card. Zealous Offense. And we're ready at max hit points. And then we'll go ahead and use our Exorcism on her to do 2 damage total. All right, now it's on to Haka. I don't really need Taiha. Don't really need Vitality Surge, even though it lets us draw a card. I think an Elbow Smash is just what we want to do. Let's go ahead. Let's go for it. All right, Elbow Smash. Boom. Hit her for three. And then we're going to hit her for two more. There we go. Bam. And we drew another Dominion card. You can have multiples of those in play, which is kind of nice. All right, I think we want to get uh, the Assault Rifle. Now, if we put that down to project our damage each, do we want to shoot it now or equip it with something? I think we want to shoot it now. All right, put the Assault Rifle and let's go ahead and shoot it. Uh, we just hit her. She's the only target in play. Hmm. And we'll stop dealing damage at that point. 
and we drew a tactical shotgun which is not uh un unwelcome it's very welcome hmm <sighs> if i s whenever is switch deals each non-hero target one melee damage that's actually pretty good I mean, proportionist is really really good Um, all right, let's go for it. Play Proportionist, and then we'll just draw two cards here. We drew a Colossal Left Hook, which is nice. And a Rest and Recover. Also good. And we drew an Undetectable Relinking. We'll read that later. All right, Setback. Setback, what do you got? We got a Reckless Rush. Um, it's not terrible. A Surprising Fortune. Move two tokens from your lucky pool. If you do, setback regains two hit points. This is kind of nice with that looking up. Um, the three, six. So I don't think we, we need to put that yet. The, the surprising fortune. I don't think we, we need to put that yet. So um, I think... I think we go ahead and just do reckless rush. We'll do two damage to her. Boink. Two damage to myself. And then added a token. And then we'll go ahead and do it. Add one token to Unlucky Pool. Risk. Oh. We will discard the top card of each deck. You may add or remove five tokens from your Unlucky Pool. Um, I actually, in this case, I think I want to remove five tokens. Yeah, because if I add them, then I'm going to take damage from the other. So we'll remove them. And we drew another Reckless Rush, which is not not bad. A Shinobi Assassin. This guy's bad. So he's going to come into play, deal 3 damage, and then when we kill him, he goes on top of a hero deck, and then when he get would be drawn this card of Yuri, he goes back into the environment play area. Wait a minute. So how do we kill this? When this card enters play, deals the non-environment target the lowest hit point, 3 melee damage. When this card will be destroyed, move it to the top of a hero deck instead. When it will be drawn, this card reveal to play, put it into play in the environment play area. This card into play. So our best bet is to just let it go and play. Let it be in play. All right, so hit to expatriate. And then we want to leave it alone now. All right, material upheaval. The first time I played, I actually killed that, not thinking it was going to be bad for us. But it's actually better to just leave it in play. All right, choke point. Choke point deals each non-villain target two projectile damage. Select one equipment card in each hero play area. Put them face down in the villain play area. If no equipment cards are moved this way, choke point deals each non-villain target two melee damage. Oh, shoot. All right. Um, all right we'll just hit choose for me here. So we all, we all take two projectile damage. And then she blasts a uh, skyscraper. All right, she took my uh, assault rifle, though. Damn it. All right, um, there's my absolution, which gives me a hit point when I play it. Uh, zealous offense. Select the two non-character targets. Then if you have not done at least three damage, destroy this card. This is actually pretty good. I do like this. Um, I do like that card. And once we have absolution in play, that's going to be uh, really useful. But let's go to put Absolution now. We'll gain a health. And then we'll go ahead and use an Absolution. And we're going to do choose a type, I guess, Fire. Choose Radiant. And we're going to go ahead and hit Choke Point. We want to leave that Assassin alone. We'll leave him alone. And she drew a Divine Sacrifice. Um, I think just another Dominion here is useful and then we'll go ahead and punch her right in the face crush all right and we drew a tomoko all right feeling good i mean she's not that difficult so far i mean she's only a difficulty two um so we lost our our thingy our thingy so we'll go ahead and put a tactical shotgun down which is actually a little bit better in this um in this setup so we're going to use that on choke point and blaster for four 
and we drew an RPG launcher, which is very, very good. Um, I could do a colossal. Oh, hold on a second. Reduce damage dealt by that target to hero to, and no, that's not gonna help us. Um, put any number of cards in play back in your hand. You may play X link card equal to the number. And eh, no, that does not help us. Um, I'm thinking a colossal left hook. There's one target three. Oh no 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 no. Because if we do that, if we do that, proportionist is gonna kill that shinobi assassin. Crap. Oh, man. Uh. Hmm. But how much damage this does? We'll do three damage. Plus, like, another. That, that's kind of worth it. Screw it. I'll take the damage. We'll colossal left hooker. All right. Boom. And because of proportionist. Um, who has the highest health? Wait, who does he who does he hit? Who to the one this garbage uh, lowest hit point? Alright, so it doesn't matter. Um I I would want to put it in somebody's deck that we think we might be able to shuffle. Uh not you. Not you. Um not you. And not you. Alright, I guess it doesn't matter. Alright, we'll just oh I can't even do choose for me. Alright, we'll say I guess whoever has the most cards in hand. I'll do it next to You know what? Let's just get it right now. Let's do it to Haka. Alright. Let's just deal with that right now. Goes on Haka's deck. Oh, we still we, it wasn't considered destroyed, so we didn't draw anything. That's fine. All right, colossal left hook. Now it hits her. And oh, I can discard a card to play a card. Um, switch to switch to gain discard, draw a card, and move one card, and then the rest and recover from trash to your hand. Um. Actually, I kind of like playing the Linking Incursion, so let's do that. Linking Incursion. Oh no, do I want to? I want to discard something. Let's discard this Monolith. We don't need a second one, I don't think. And then we'll put this Linking Incursion. That'll let us get what? Nothing. Yeah. Um. All right. View the cards from the top there into two link card review. You may put each of those cards either into your hand or into play. So select the card. Um. I do like this. Next to the tower, reduce the first damage dealt by the tower by one each other. Then turn. Yeah, we'll select that card. We'll put that in play. And put that next to choke point. And then we'll put this in play. And I guess we'll put it next to Expatriate. She needs to. She, I think she, she needs that. And then I can do. You may pl play up to two link cards. You may move from your hand either one link card. Alright, so let's do this. I can sneak. I can play up to two link cards, which I don't really need to do right now. So we'll skip that part. Now I can play. Wait. What's the ability? Uh, and then you may move to your hand either one link card from play or two link cards from your trash. Wait, we're not playing a link card. All right. And then we don't want to put any of those in our hand. All right. That's it. That is such a confusing ability, but it works out good. Okay, um, a reckless rush I think is kind of neat here. We'll do that. We'll hit her for two. I'll take two as well, but it's fine. And then we're gonna do looking up. Add three tokens to my unlucky pool, and then I do one target, three damage. So we'll punch her. And then I drew a cash out, which is helpful. We don't need that just yet. Uh, Apprentice Poisoner. This guy's bad. He's got three health. And at the end of environment turn, this card deals the three non-environmental with the lowest hit point, one toxic damage each. And when this card is destroyed, it deals everybody a toxic damage. All right. So um, I'm just going to hit choose for me. I, I don't think it matters. And. 
and she has flipped. She regains five hit points, and then she's gonna hit somebody. Uh, oh, she killed the apprentice poison, so she's gonna gain. Um, what choose for me? She's gonna gain Hakatru as a card. Yes. We'll get the Shinobi Assassin in play. It's a expatriate. We draw Enduring Intercession. And we'll sit choose for me. Everybody takes damage. Undaunted protects her. Everybody else takes one. Yeah, expatriate has been taking quite a few hits and she gains 10 more hit points. Um, we get to destroy a card. I think I want Skyscraper's card back. And then she does. Oh my god. What did on Dawn to do? Whenever we find more damage from a single surge, we reduce that damage by two. So that. Shit, she was trying to shoot. Doing six? That's. Oof. Oof. Alright. Um. Divine Sacrifice. No good. Um. I think I want the Zealous Offense. We'll put this right because zealous offense. So your turn select up to two non character cards. Target those targets. Non character. So that won't work against the villain. That doesn't work against the villain. And it doesn't really work against this guy because. Yeah, reasons. Um, and I think I'm okay putting this equipment into play. That gives me an equipment that she can destroy if we want to let her do that. Alright. We'll use Absolution, do some Radiant Damage to Choke Point. Alright, we got a Sacrosanct Martyr. Um, oh god, what do we want to do here? Talmoko to do, take less damage. Uh, Enduring Intercension, meh. We'll do Talmoko. Well, let me see the Dury Razor. We do regularly that we build by here to buy an environment card to Haka. Um, hmm, no, that could be really bad. Though with the Talmoko in play, that's not that bad. So let's put that, and then just punch her in the face. Choke point. Oh, she reduces damage to herself. Uh, reduce that to the environment. Oh, because she has one of my cards. Since she has one of my cards, it reduces the damage. That's right. Alright, we drew a rampage there, which is interesting, but I don't think it's going to really help us. Alright, um, an RPG launcher doesn't help us here. Um, liquid nitrogen rounds reduces the damage that she would deal, which I think I like. So we'll go ahead and put that on the tactical shotgun. And we'll go ahead and shoot her with that. Um, choke point does reduce it, but we still get some damage on her, which means now uh, her damage is going to be reduced by one. We do use up the nitrogen rounds. We got an arsenal access. Um, all right, neutralizing resonate. Play this card next to a villain character card and discard the top card of that villain's deck. The start of your turn, you destroy one ongoing card. If you do destroy this card, that's actually really useful. Um, but a tectonic choke slam could be good because we want to do some nasty damage to her. Um, start of your turn, we destroy one on guard card. If you do destroy this card, I, I think we can wait that. We can. Mm, I think we just want to do damage. Let's go ahead and punch her. All right. Oh, because we transformed. Because we transformed, uh, we do one damage to all non-hero targets, and then we choke slam her for four, and then everybody's gonna take damage here. So we'll s just hit choose for me. Some of us didn't take damage, which is good, but we're about to kill that assassin, and then. Do I want to do this? No, because it's... Nah, we're going to skip that. that. That'll just be bad for us. We'll do two damage to choke point, but then everybody's going to take, like, 
a whole lot more. All right, I think I actually want to get a surprising. Fo Whoa, uh, she's kind of hurt, and I don't really need to heal right now with him. So I think one character belonging to another hero. Uh, we don't need to do that either. I think we. I think right now we can cash out. So let's cash out and draw that many cards. Um, I think we'll get rid of three, and then we'll draw another surprising fortune. A turn of events. Rule five tokens from your lucky pool. If you do, each other player may use a power now, and then he just takes two damage. That is excellent. Holy cow! Reckless rush. Um. Who can discard? I guess everybody but him. All right, Fnatic, what are you going to discard? Um, probably this Divine Sacrifice. We don't really need it, I don't think. Or Divine Focus. Divine Focus. Haka will get rid of... I think we probably want to get rid of Ty. Uh, let's get rid of Ground Pound. Two to either discard two cards or destroy the... Ground Pound could be useful. But Rampage, Rampage, I don't think we need. All right, we'll get rid of Rampage. Uh, Expatriate. I actually don't really want to get rid of anything with her, but um, I think I'm okay get losing these shock rounds. And Skyscraper needs to discard something. I guess one of these rest and recovers. Actually, this, this one here. I never get to use that. Undetectable relinking. And that'll be it. And then skip, and then everybody draws or gets two health. All right. Uh, and then use the power. Do we want to do three damage, or do we want to like get a random card out? Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna get a random card out. I mean, and I'm gonna just do my looking up and just hit her. Oh frick! She's got the damage reduction. Actually, I think that's that's fine. Alright, Karmic Retribution is what we drew. Alright, here's the big card. Tr the true form, 13 health, Master Drag. At the end of the environment turn, this card deals the non-environment target with the second highest hit point. 3 radiant damage and 3 toxic damage. Whenever a target is destroyed by damage dealt by this card, play the top card of the environment deck. Oof. Oof. So that's going to definitely hit one of us, but I got Talmoko, so that works. Alright, that was okay. Big Dragon is out now. Alright, she's gonna do a shocking animation. That's gonna... At the end of our hero... That card's here too. That card deals each, each hero to our two lightning damage. Oof. So we gotta get rid of that. Alright, but we're gonna put it on... I guess next to this Aegis of Re Resurrection. And then destroy a card. I think we want Haka. Expatriate setback. Um, I guess Haka. Alright, she did. Oof. Ooh, that was really good damage reduction. A lot of good re damage reduction there. Thank goodness. Alright. Zealous offense. That's useful. I think now it's useful. Um, we'll put that into play. We'll go ahead and use absolution. And do we want to worry about that true form? I don't think we need to because we have an RPG launcher to deal with it. So we'll do radiant and we'll do it to choke point. And select the target to be dealt damage. Um. Wait, what's this from? Oh, the shock animation. Choose for me. All right, that's fine. All right. Well, yeah. All right. Uh, I think we still we're still pretty fine. Um. I can redirect any damage that we do to here to our bio environment card to Haka. Um, but we're going to get rid of that. Um, a Vitality Search could be good. A Ground Pound. 
I don't think that's necessary. I think it's just a vitality surge. Gain some health. Make himself the target of stuff. Would you another on Dominion? <laughs> All right. Um, and then just a punch. Use crush, and we'll go ahead and punch choke point in her face. And we got a Haka restoration. Not very useful. Uh, let's see arsenal access. Review two review cards from the top of the deck until you review two equipment cards. Put one of them either into play or your hand. Shift the rest of the review cards into your deck. That's such a good card, but I think we want an RPG launcher right now. And these are two targets, two fire damage each. Yeah, let's get rid of that true form, dude. We don't want him around. <laughs> Rocket launcher him. And then Haka draws some cards. A punish the weak uh, and a savage mana. Uh, we will do damage to choke point, but we're not going to do damage to that shinobi. We'll stop dealing damage there. And then we will tactical shotgun. We'll tactical shotgun her to the face. So the damage reduction is not that bad. Not that bad. So choke point is not that terrible villain. She's for the most part kind of easy. Um... Rest and recover. Let me get small. Yeah, because I don't want to do her huge ability there. So we'll go ahead and rest and recover. We drew a card. Gain a health. And draw some more. Select the card to put in hand. Um, catch a ride, maybe? Switch to the tiny character card. This is your target, then the sky could do one target to project the damage. Sky could do one target dealt damage that way to reduce blue melee damage. I like I like that a little bit better than the colossal left hook. So we'll go ahead and take catch a ride. We kind of don't really want to use her huge form uh, in this matchup, uh, and then we'll just use her power here to draw two cards: surveillance, a compulsion canister, and a linking incursion. All right, and. We drew in an emergency evac, which could help us, but we're doing so well right now that it's not really that necessary. Karmic Retribution. Um, this would just give me two hit points. I want to use it when I have more. Reckless Rush will add two. That'll, that'll kind of do it. Hmm. Turn of Events. You do each other player may use a power now. If I did that now, I'll take two damage and then she can attack. He can attack. She can attack and uh, she would just draw cards. And hold on a second, turn of events. Each other player. So we'd hit her for a lot of damage. Which could be really useful. I mean, that'll be three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine damage minus reductions. Or I wait till I can do seven. No, we do more this way. And then I can still keep that going. All right, turn of events. We'll do that. And then. Alright, so remove that each other player may use a power now. So Fanatic will do Absolution. She uses Absolution. She's gonna do radiant damage to choke point. Yo, damaging her. Haka's gonna just crush. He's gonna do it on choke point. Bam! What a bum rush. Expatriate is gonna take her tactical shotgun. And just shoot her in the face. There we go. There is a damage reduction there, but that's fine. It's fine. I'll take that. And then Skyscraper. Why not? We'll draw some cards. Draw two cards. Alright. Another Monolith and a Colossal Left Hook. Alright. See, we, we're gonna... That was worth taking two damage for. And then we can still do Looking Up. Which I think I am gonna do that. Just take the damage. Do that on her. And we are well on our way to wrecking her. 
Alright, we drew a whoops, sorry. Alright, an apprentice poisoner. Sucks. This guy's gonna do a damage to all of us. Oh, I forgot about this freaking Aegis of Retribution. We gotta get rid of that thing. Alright, uh, well, that'll take a damage. And we'll just hit choose from here. Everybody else takes damage. Poisoner is a pain in the ass. Alright, what is she gonna do? A shocking animation. God damn it. We'll do it on Aegis of Retribution. <laughs> All right, and we get, we get to destroy a card. Uh, let's get rid of setback, the one on setback. And then she's gonna do some damage to him, but there was some reductions, and she does a damage to herself because of the cortex we have on her. So very good, very good. Uh, we're gonna choose you to not be able to do damage, and you to not be able to do damage. Uh, that's not gonna really matter. All right, what do we want to do here? I could do this divine sacrifice one damage each it Redirects damage to her But why would I want to do that well basically because I would want to try to damage this but I'd like to destroy this before it gets to do anything But I could do that with my power. So I can embolden to allow somebody to use an additional power. I don't think there's anybody with multiple powers and well could be it could that could go good on uh expatriate. Not really, not based on what she's got over there. No, it would still go good against it go good on expatriate. Yeah. I think I like that. Alright. Let's let's embolden. Let's go to embolden uh, expatriate. Although she's low on health, but so is the villain. And then we're just going to use absolution to destroy. We're going to kill it with fire. We're going to destroy the. Oh, no. When target three melee that show all targets. Okay. For a minute, I was like, wait, I can't target my own thing. But we can. All right. Get rid of that before it does some damage to all of us. Prayer of Desperation. No, no need for that. Alright, do I put another Dominion in play? Savage Mana would be really good. But I don't know what... Ah, oh, man. I'm gonna try it. Savage Mana. Let's try this. Just to see, we're gonna we're gonna destroy the Shinobi Assassin. See if that lets us put it underneath. Select the hero to no. Fuck. All right, so that doesn't work. All right, let's go back to the start of turn. I just wanted to see if if that if that worked. So it's just no getting around that Shinobi Assassin. He just does whatever he wants. All right, so a Taiha now could be good. Does that, does that do three damage? Yeah, that'll kill that and hurt her. And this guy does damage every turn, right? Yeah. So. Just trying to see if there's anything else better we want to do. Nope, tie house fine. And we'll go ahead and use that. Uh, we'll blow this guy up. And then he's going to do... Well, we're just going to choose for me. We're going to draw some cards here because we destroyed something. Another Tamoko, and then Zealous. Oh, Zealous Offense prevented the Poisoner from dealing damage. So I didn't really need to kill that, but it doesn't matter. All right, we'll choke point here. I mean, we'll, <laughs> we'll choke point. We'll hit choke point, and then we drew a Hawk of Shielding. All right, we gotta be careful. Uh, she's kind of low on health, but I think an uh, actually a flak jacket could be really good though, just to protect her. But she's not that low. She's not that low. Um, she has an embolden. She's she's gonna be able to play multiple cards this turn, or use multiple powers. Um, let's just play a card. So we'll 
Okay, I know what we're gonna do. Well, Arsenal access. Select the card to, uh, we can review two cards, and we can put one of them either into player or into hand. The rest of our review, rest of our review cards into your deck. So we can either take the hollow points, which increase damage, or just take the assault rifle. Hmm. Hmm. We'll take the assault rifle. Put it in play. And now we can use two powers. Should I just shoot twice? That's death. That kills her. All right. Let's uh, assault rifle. We'll do some suppressing fire. Oh, she's got damage reduction. That does not kill her. All right. We're going to stop dealing damage there. Ah, uh, I forgot about the damage reduction. But we'll still shoot her really hard. We're going to shoot her so hard. But I think... I think we've got it. Do you want to do? Yes. That'll keep the embolden in play. And then here, I think we're going to Colossal Left Hook for the win. I think that's just the right answer. Um, oh. Our uh, Proportionist hits everybody. Oh, it's going to hit Shinobi Assassin. Put them under. I don't care. Fanatic's deck. And then she does three damage to Choke Point destroying her and now she has been defeated <laughs>